Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at Holy Bros Kakuta F7 HDV. So this uh, flight controller is uh, made for DJI Air Unit and the simplicity of connecting everything up. Uh, first of all, let's uh, go over the specs and what's inside the box. So, uh, in the box we have the flight controller itself, accessory bag and stickers. Uh, for user manual and everything else you have the QR code so you can easily scan it and go to the manual. So, uh, this um, uh, FC has a STM F7 32-bit processor, it has a MPU 6000 uh, gyro and it has, uh, it has um, a BPM uh, 280 uh, barometer. Uh, what's uh, good about F7 processors they, is that they have ample UARs for your accessories. So if you are mm, uh, wanting to add <coughs> peripherals to your uh, flight controller, you can do it here. Uh, so uh, also uh, it has uh, SD card reader for your uh, black box uh, logging and it's your stand standard. Uh, 35 by 35 millimeters um, for the mounting. Uh, as I can see uh, from the light shining on the on the board, it has um, waterproofing on it, so you don't need to to take the extra step for for waterproofing your flight controller. So for the accessories. We have connector that goes straight in your air unit. You have your rubber dampers for vibration isolation uh, of the flight controller and you have a really really long connector for connecting uh, the FC to the ESC. Um, okay, so that's uh, all for the overview and specification on the on the flight controller. Uh, next step is going to be uh, me mounting the flight controller and connecting and solder, soldering everything up. So let's go and do that. Uh, this is uh, my frame and motors uh, and ESC is already uh, soldered in place. I'm not going to, to go all, all uh, to the process of soldering. You, everybody knows how to solder the uh, motors and uh, everything. So um, I also put in the SMA extension and my Crossfire um, receiver. Other than that I uh, took the, the rubber bobbins and uh, mounted them on the flight controller. Uh, next we are going to place the uh, flight controller uh, inside our frame. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we need to follow the arrow indicated on the flight controller itself. Um, in that case, you are not uh, going to need to rotate the board, and so you are going to use default values uh, on your uh, beta flight. So yeah, uh, it's just simply sliding on the flight controller. Um, uh, I was uh, talking about simplicity of uh, building with this um, uh, flight controller. 
so uh, there there is a really super easy to connect everything so you just uh, connect your four in one uh, four in one uh, with uh, this cable actually is not supplied but if you had uh, some of uh, the builds already done uh, you have your uh, your uh, example of this uh, extension wires so uh, connecting the 4-in-1 with the with the flight controller is easy just simply uh, hook the JST on the 4-in-1 and the flight controller and uh, please uh, check the pinout of your ESC and your uh, flight controller. Uh, I'm uh, actually going to um, uh, link up the video uh, where I uh, explain how to how to uh, take out the wires and sort them in uh, the correct uh, order for the for the uh, supplied uh, flight controller. So yeah, uh, I'm going to route my in one cable like so so yeah that's ESC and the flight controller uh, connected uh, only thing uh, that I'm going to use that requires soldering is uh, the uh, crossfire receiver uh, so I'm actually going to uh, use the 5 volt ground pad on the flight controller and the closest um, UART I have uh, it's uh, RX4 and TX4 so I'm going to solder up the the receiver now so yeah So now that we uh, connected our uh, receiver, uh, routed the cables, uh, there's not much else left to do but to connect your air unit. Um, it's done, as I mentioned, with this uh, supplied uh, cable and we need our antenna extension. Uh, I'm actually going to use two nuts to secure the flight controller since I have uh, enough room to do that. It's not needed but it's holding the stack tightly and yeah it's it's advisable if you have room to do that I'm actually going to see my cable routing yeah I think everything is ready for the air unit air unit in my case is uh, mounted on the top plate of my frame and only thing left to do is to connect the air unit with our flight controller. Actually, I'm going to... Need my cables are slightly longer than needed. camera goes on like so
watch out for the cable my guess is everything is mounted correctly just to double check yes everything lines up I'm not going to tighten all the screws but just to hold the top plate in place So, uh, other than uh, my uh, battery lead, uh, everything is uh, soldered up and uh, I'm going to um, solder up the uh, battery lead and I'm going to show you um, how to set up everything in Betaflight. So uh, this is uh, the Betaflight setup, or rather Betaflight configura configurator, and uh, I already flashed the latest available version uh, to this date, and I'm going to go over the whole setup pro process. So uh, first, uh, let's check what's uh, what's uh, what we have here so uh, we have uart4 as our as our uh, serial rx and this uh, flight controller has uart7 on your esc so let's leave uh, let's check the esc like this then on to configuration I like to run my motors reversed uh, I would like to start everything with with uh, 4k 4k and and like so next um, we have serial based rx we are using crossfire um, we have telemetry air mode is on osd anti-gravity dynamic filter everything is checked i like to uncheck the usb because i don't like uh, beeping uh, when i have it connected also um, I will leave everything like this uh, for pit tuning. I'm not going to do anything uh, on initial setup, but I'm pretty sure we can lower the filtering like so. But please be sure that you are using uh, new. Uh, new motors and everything so you can so you can um, so you you are sure that the filtering is uh, enough so uh, for the modes I will uh, only use arm and I know it's my aux one and save it so that's all I'm pretty sure that we can go <coughs> flying Let's go and do that.